Hi everybody, welcome back to another Learn Some Drums lesson. This time we're looking at Decode by Paramore. As you'd expect with a classic Paramore song, there's heaps of cool punk feels in there and a bunch of different beats that we need to look at. Some of it might be a little bit fast, but just start out slowly and then eventually you'll be able to work your way back up. Anyway, let's hop on the kit and check it out. There are stacks of things to look at in this song, but let's start at the very beginning. The first beat you need goes like this. The next part in this section has a fill at the end, which is really cool. It's just a little drop down between the snare drum, first tom, and onto the kicks. So it goes like this. So that last bit just slowly again. It's a cool fill that sounds a lot trickier to play than it actually is, so it's a really good one to add to your tool bag. Moving on, we just mix up the beat a tiny bit in the next two bars, so it goes like this. And then the last two bars of this section are the same as the second two bars, so we have that cool little drop-off fill at the end once more. Moving on, we're going to break it down to just kicks and hi-hat, and it's going to sound like this. Then from there we build up and we're just about in the chorus. That brings us to our chorus, which is a bit of a different beat just because the snare drums are not exclusively on beat 2 and beat 4. So if you haven't done it before, it might be a little bit weird at first, but just take it slowly and then eventually you'll get it. There's a couple of fills in there as well, so let me break those down for you too. The next two bars with a fill at the end go like this. We reuse the first fill again and then we have a bit of a stop right at the end. This next little breakdown bit is actually quite tricky to play. There's a lot of double-handed stuff going on and we want to try and catch some floor toms as well. So altogether it sounds like this, I would definitely suggest starting this one out slowly. So if you made it through that, I definitely think that's one of the trickiest parts of the song, just to get it to flow along with the track. 
Moving on, we're back into the verse, and it's really similar to our first one with just a couple of changes, so let me play through it. Next two bars with a fill at the end. Just that last fill. Here's the next two bars of this verse. And finally, before our pre-chorus, we have one more fill. Right on, that brings us back into our pre-chorus, which is super similar to the first time. We're just going to get those kicks going on down below with a couple of fills over the top. So here we go. And then the next two bars. Here we go into our chorus again with that same sort of off-kilter snare drum, a couple of different fills, so let me play through the first four bars. Just that last fill slowly. We continue through the chorus using that same beat and then at the end before the bridge we have a fill that goes like this. Now we're up to our bridge and we're just going to keep it nice and laid back, quarter notes up on the crash cymbal with a big heavy groove that sounds like this. And then the next four bars. From there we break it down once again, we're going to get really sparse, we're just playing over on the ride cymbal, it's going to be a bit quiet, and there's a couple of tasty little ghost notes on the snare drum that if you can get in there they sound really good.
Now we're building things back up, heading into our last choruses, and we're going to use that chorus beat, but just ramp it up a little with a few extra kicks underneath and up on the crash cymbal instead of the hat. So it will sound like this. Then into the chorus we add an extra snare drum on the end of one as well, but keep those kick drums going right throughout, and some of the fills are a little bit tricky, so let me play it slowly. That last fill is very tricky, let me play it slowly. The very final fill before we hit our outro is just a big stop on the toms, so that sounds like this. That takes us into our outro, which is the same groove as the bridge, so we get to use that quarter note crash cymbal pattern and just keep it nice and heavy with some really good fills. The next two bars. The very end has a tricky little 16th note triplet fill in it. I'm not 100% sold on the sticking, but I'll take it slowly and hopefully you can work something out that works for you. For that triplet fill, it's most comfortable for me to start with the left-handed flam, move my left hand up to the tom for the single hit, move it back, and then lead with my left hand for the two hits on the tom right before the kick drum. It just depends on whether you've practiced Swiss Army triplets, flam accents, or any of that sort of stuff as to what you're most comfortable playing after a flam. So take it slowly and work out whatever works best for you. Anyway, that is the end of the song, and so that's the end of the lesson, and hopefully it has helped you to play drums to Decode by Paramore. Happy practicing, guys, and I'll catch you at the next lesson.